I want to talk to you today about how to restore old screens. This is off a house that we're doing that down in Point Loma. It has wood screening, uh, excuse me, wood framing uh, with wood stops holding in old aluminum screening. That one's not in too bad a shape. But we have some of these which have literally totally degraded down there by the ocean. So we're going to show you this week how to fix this sort of thing <laughs> and, uh, and get back to a, a, a restored screen. Here I'm using a 5-in-1 tool to remove the screen stop so that the screen itself can be replaced. Here I'm taking out any extraneous nails. Here we're using a HEPA attached belt sander to really get down through that old paint down to a smooth surface. Uh, the HEPA attached vacuum keeps the dust down and the workers safe. Now these old screens have gotten pretty rickety, so I'm using a pin nailer to pin the ends down and make them strong again. Now here is the prepared wood. We've used a high build triple thick primer to really build up a surface as a base coat. Now these are 16 foot lengths of wooden screen stop that we've primed and painted on both sides to seal them up well. Now here's an important step using a primer sealing the surfaces that will soon be hidden. Well, I've set up here in the shop a little workspace with a big flat cardboard, or excuse me, uh, plywood top to work on these screens. I've purchased online some aluminum screening that's been pre-oxidized so that it's nice and gray and won't be uh, too shiny. There's an option to buy the shiny stuff or the gray stuff, so I chose gray, so it would tie in with the existing screens that I am not refinishing. So what I do is I pull out enough screen, a little bit extra on all sides, and then cut it square using my uh, long aluminum cutter here. And I've also striped the wood so that I'll know that I'm on a 90 degree angle, so I'm cutting squares each time. It makes it easier to fit inside this uh, frame. Now. I wanted to show you, uh, this is worth purchasing. They're about, oh, 50 bucks. And if you're doing a lot of screens, you need to have a pneumatic stapler. Um, make sure you get the right size staples. These are fairly short so that I won't go through the wood edge. Correspondingly, when you put in the stop to finish out the frame here, you use a pin nailer. That's a different machine. And here's my pin nailer with very, very, very short pins. See that? That way it won't go all the way through the wood and create a, uh, a filling problem. So, wanted to reiterate, I may have told you this a little bit earlier, but the stop, there goes my compressor, the stop gets primed and painted on all sides before it goes in. And the reason you want to do this, and see back here I used a clear, uh, a clear primer. This way when water gets in, these are exterior screens, when water gets behind this gap it's not going to fail and cause the paint to blister off. The way I'm doing this now is going to last much much longer than if say a carpenter put or a screen person put all these together they're not thinking in terms of the paint work so I what's called back priming. You back prime all the surfaces before they get put together and it drastically increases the uh, longevity of the overall job. Okay, So here's an example. After I've put together the stop, the screen, the new screen, I take some elastomeric caulking and run it across all these little seams. These are areas where water can get in and cause all kinds of havoc. We want these screens to last a long, long time. So I did all my, my caulking and filling on the cracks, and then there were some defacements here that were quite deep. So I'm using a uh, catalyzed filler to fill that in. And then we will reprime any repaired areas before we put our finish coat on. Now here's a super cool trick to save you a ton of time so that you don't have to mask off the screening. Instead, use a drywall knife, lay it between the wood and the screening, and cut it in. 
I use a deep base primer that's going to match the finished color and, uh, and prime and paint using this technique. Well, my guys are so efficient that I finished and I was going to uh, get another picture of the absolute finished 25 screens for you, but my guys came and took them back to the job site today, so I can't show you the finished screens. But I'll tell you, they turned out beautifully. And I hope that this uh, video has helped you in your next project in restoring screens. Thanks so much.